What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. I believe this is episode four of our FIFA career mode here on FIFA 22 on next gen. And we have made a couple of minor moves. Uh, actually, I wouldn't say minor, actually pretty important moves since the last, uh, since the last video. We actually transferred for Morato here, who is a center back, 20 year old from Brazil, 74 overall, has pretty high potential. And our transfer for him included sending over Cody, who was our 79 overall center back. Um, and then we sent over Neto, who was our right winger, that was a 79 overall, really young, high potential, but I feel like he was uh, kind of excess or our wingers were excess in general. So we sent back uh, him for, I think this is Chow Henrique. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, probably completely wrong, um, but I'll let you guys see his face there for a second. Uh, these are the two players that we, that we acquired uh, on the defensive side of the ball. And the reason that I went out and got two Brazilian players is I had a uh, manager objective to go out and get two South American players. So I wanted to get that accomplished. And I had actually gotten an email from my manager or my, my boss uh, or the executives of the team saying, hey, we really need you to get this one accomplished. And it does have medium importance there. So I did really kind of want to make sure that I got that one done just to make sure that I was safe, even though my rating was already really good anyway um, but we are now at a 100 uh, board confidence rating so that's good to see but the other important things to note are uh, we increased the difficulty level because I did feel like I was getting too many uh, high scoring wins and easy wins and things like that so we increased it one more level to I believe it's world class if I'm not mistaken, so settings here real quick. Yeah, we're on world-class difficulty. Now, we may still need to go up to legendary or ultimate, depending on how this, this adapts for us. I feel like so far, world-class has been a bit of a challenge for me, especially playing top clubs, and this is where we are right now. The top two clubs in the Premier League are going head-to-head. -head. 20 games played, we have 41 points, they have 40 points. We're going to be facing off against Manchester United. Now, the important thing to note here is that their team is significantly higher rated at this point than ours is because we did take a lot of developmental players onto our team right here. Now, our midfield is actually really good, and they've grown quite a bit. They're all up into the high 70s. Pulisic is now an 83 overall. Our offense is getting up there pretty solid, and our defense is probably the weaker area of our team, and that is where we're going to struggle against the top team like... Uh, uh, like the, uh, you know, Manchester United's, Man City and whatnot. So we'll see how that plays out in today's game. I've noticed that when I play some of these games on world-class difficulty against other very good teams, they either go pretty solid for me or they go really, really bad really, really quickly. So this game has the potential to go bad very quickly for me, especially considering how my defense is right now with the lower overall prospects and not having enough time to develop them quite yet. That is the risk that you run of bringing in players the way that I have. Now, after this matchup, one of these teams is going to be on top of the Premier League, and, you know, I'm hoping that it's me, but obviously we're going to have to jump into this one and find out how this is actually going to play out. And as we warm up here in this game, I did want to make it known that we have a couple of important injuries. So our right back that's an 81 overall is out. Our center back that's an 83 overall is out, both with injuries. We've also experienced a few other minor injuries as we've gone throughout now. So we got to be really careful. Like I said, on the defensive side of the ball, we don't have some of our top men back there right now. So we're going to have to pace ourselves and try not to turn over the ball because we certainly don't want to give this team any extra opportunities. We know that they have some of the best striking potential in the Premier League. We got to be real careful about that. And you guys can see already we're starting with the turnovers. So I'm going to go ahead, slow this down a little bit and make sure that we're playing this the way that we need to in order to uh, give ourselves a chance at victory here today. They have so much good striking potential. Beautiful save over there by Stefan. What a save in order to prevent that goal. 
Let's take another look at this one. Really nice hit ball by Ronaldo and beautiful save. Even better save than the hit by Ronaldo. We, that's the type of stuff that we're going to get a lot of. You can't give him room. You cannot give these guys room to shoot the ball. And when you do, they're going to take full advantage. Now, they are going attacking against us. I'm not sure how that's... Okay, the second one was a clean tackle. The first one was not. And now they're going to give us the ball. And I think they called the second one the not clean tackle. So <laughs> that's one thing that I've noticed with FIFA so far this year. It is quite a bit different. Oh, and I... Hmm. I might need to play this off of my other screen. Uh, because that lag that I just experienced right there was pretty bad via the recording equipment. Not able to get that pass around the outside. You guys can see our defense, or rather our offense has been non-existent so far so we gotta we have to step up our game very quickly and that's gonna be a header into net for Ronaldo if I'm not mistaken I think that that was Ronaldo who went up and put that one in yep Cristiano Ronaldo no surprise that he's the one that strikes in this matchup first that's gonna be tough to deal with we're gonna have to maybe try to play some balls into the air I think that that's potentially how we're gonna gain room also trying to dribble around a couple of guys Ooh, there's some space. Not a very well hit ball there, unfortunately. We do keep possession, though. So we have an opportunity here. Oh, and I didn't realize that that ball was on my foot. The red marker lined up perfectly, I think, if I'm not mistaken, with the users that were with the, the opponent players that were out there. So I couldn't really see who had possession of the ball. Header is going to go over the net not really a good opportunity there at all we probably should have put that ball into the net whenever we got it on way foot and we just did not react quickly enough that should be a yellow card they are going to give him the yellow card and that's going to be against the defender which is always a a boost to us i guess because that means that they have to play a little bit differently a little bit more cautious send that one in and we're not able to control it yet again Oh, they're calling them offsides. Okay, so offsides on Weya. That's another thing that our guys are prone to at this point. Um, our match tactics have not been set perfectly to this point, so we do also have to keep that in mind. But beyond that, lower overall players, their positioning is not always going to be as as superb as, as you might see with, uh, with elite-level players like we're going up against. So that's one of the major drawbacks of 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 you know bringing in prospects like this and trying to play with them and a huge chance now here for the offense can we get something going we got the ball in and it's gonna be blocked again another wasted opportunity we're gonna go ahead and put this one into Pulisic I feel like we've been able to get some pretty good opportunities don't why are you off sides what makes you think being off sides is a good idea over there it made no sense for you to be off sides you weren't even on a run we are approaching the end of the first half here and one to nothing still is the score hopefully we can keep it one nothing or tie it up one to one at half maybe make some minor adjustments and put ourselves into a better position to hopefully try to score Going into the second half, a very cleanly hit ball there. And I don't know where our goalkeeper is going with that one. I literally tapped that button. I don't know why it gave me so much power on that pass to send that upfield. We do have a guy on the outside there making a run. He is not offsides. Don't try to give me any crap right there. What is that pass? Oh, my goodness. That's the definition of wide open over there. I don't know why we didn't get a better pass off of that. Again, probably the low overall of the players. Maybe I angled it slightly wrong. But at the end of the first half, one to nothing is the score. We've got a lot of energy to burn here with this team, so we're going to have to start pushing up and attacking. And honestly, that's what I would expect from this team. I think that's one of the benefits of going up on a skill level. You get a little bit more realistic play from some of these teams. So very solid stalwart defense from everybody on that side so far today. Let's try to get a run up over the top. Really nice ball played to the outside. They are going to double Pulisic, though. Nice little dump off pass. They're going to give me room. I tried to pass that one. That one gets through. There we go. 
Another pass through. Come on, put it far post. That's going to tie up the game one to one. And I think that that's Musa who's going to get the goal for us. I apologize. I'm probably pronouncing that one incorrectly as well. No, that's Weya. Weya was slightly out of position. He was over on the right side. So Weya is going to get that, that goal. And it looks like Musa was out there on the right side as well. So I'm not saying anybody's out of position. I'll take the goal. I'm not going to complain in getting a goal. And we're tied up one to one against Manchester. United, the two top teams in the Premier League going at it right now. Now, there is something to be said for the fact that we are competing against this team with lower overall players. So, you know, maybe maybe unrealistic from the perspective of we, we probably shouldn't be competing as well as we are. How is that not a yellow card? I know that they adjusted how penalties, uh, how, how fouls work within FIFA, but some of the non-calls in the game are a little bit weird. Pulisic with the ball. Picks out a target again. Passing inside the net. Inside the net. What am I talking about? Inside the danger area of the box. Oh, not able to make it happen. I need to just take some shots. I need to take some longer range shots. I have the players that can do it, especially if it's on Pulisic's foot. He can put that ball in from range. We just got to be a little bit more confident in taking those opportunities because we could be up two to one right now. A really nice shot, a really nice save. It wants us to sub in somebody for way out. I don't like the idea of doing that quite yet. Uh, maybe once we hit around the 70 minute mark, maybe we are already there and maybe I just haven't paid enough attention, but this game is one to one. Yeah, we are getting close to the 70 minute mark, but not quite there yet. We'll give it another couple seconds before I actually decide to maybe sub somebody in. We got to be real careful there. That was dangerous. Oh, here we go. Good opportunity for a cross. He picked his man out. Oh, Pulisic, I think, went up a little bit too early for that one. And that's going to, unfortunately, uh, peter out that attacking opportunity. Pulisic was in a great position to be able to head that ball into net. It would have been a really nice uh, effort by him if he could have matched Ronaldo's goal from earlier in the game. Unfortunately, a unable to do so. Two men in. Get rid of that ball. What are you doing, my man? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to punt this across the field. We still have not had our substitutions come on. So we got to be really careful um, that we don't allow a crazy uh, opportunity in the opposite directions. These late minutes have been crazy so far. I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of this team. Okay, there's a stoppage in play. They're going to get a yellow card. Another yellow card. I didn't really see that. That, was, that one's a bit of a surprise to me, but interesting okay so they're coming back to the yellow card from earlier so i must have missed whatever happened there must have been a little bit uh a little bit ago we do have fresh legs on now at defense oh that was such a good shot i can't believe that that didn't go in i can't believe that our goalkeeper saved that one our goalkeeper is keeping us alive in this game come on keeper come out and get that ball oh we got to be really careful are we going to have an opportunity to attack we're not there was that one minute of extra time, and once we got the ball, they were calling that whistle. So, finishing against Man United 1-1. One one. I would say that that's a pretty nice result. I'll take that all day long. That'll give us the draw, though, and keep us both near the top of the near the top of the division, near the top of the Premier League. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's matchup and are enjoying this series so far. That'll be pretty much it for today's for today's game. Um, not a whole lot else to update you guys on. There were a couple of other minor things. I did find out how to adjust players' positions. Um, I, I do appreciate that that is in the game. I'll, I'll maybe have to make a video on that to make sure that people know how to switch positions for players. But very, very hard-fought match by both sides today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like on the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.